Hello guys, what is up? It is the Citrus Panda here today, and I've got a pretty awesome video. It's showing you how to maximize your XP. Now it is double XP weekend, so I thought it would be a great time to show you how to maximize your XP. Even if it's not double XP weekend, this will still pertain to you because this is the best way that you can that I think you can personally maximize your XP. So here's my class setup. Now, as your primary, it doesn't really matter what you use as your primary. Use an accurate gun, use a gun with maybe less recoil than other guns, fast reload, it doesn't really matter. Use a gun that you're comfortable with. That is my overall rule. Same for the secondaries. Use a gun that you're good at using and will help you out. Don't use a gun that I personally, I like the MP9. Don't use the MP9, say you take out the MP9 and you're not getting any kills with it. Then try using the Scorpion, maybe you're really good at the Scorpion. Don't take my recommendations as, wow, I have to use the MP9. Because um, you can use whatever you want. But, what I do want to tell you is that when you have a secondary, if it's double XP weekend, it's also double weapon XP, so you level up your weapons really fast. Now, when you maximize a weapon's level, then you get 10,000 XP. Secondaries only go up to level 10, so it's, it's a good idea to find weapons that you don't have level 10, and then just level up those ones. For instance, I mean, I can run around with an MP9, Scorpion, or FMG9, and probably play about 5 games and get it to level 10. Once you get it level 10, you get 10,000 XP, and it's a pretty easy 10,000 XP. So that's one thing to think about. As for your lethal and tactical, completely up to you. I personally like Semtex and Concussion Grenade. Also, for the tactical, you could use a recon, uh, a portable radar, I mean, which is pretty good. Now, your perks. Perk 2, you definitely need hard Hardline Pro. If you want to do this quickly and efficiently, use Hardline Pro. As for the first and the third, really, it's kind of up to you on those ones, whatever you like using. Uh, Scavenger, Sleight of Hand is pretty good. I, I like using Sleight of Hand. Recon, if you've got Recon Pro, it is very good. Although, Recon Pro is difficult to get. Um, the easiest way to get Recon Pro, I might go over in another video, but uh, basically just go around shooting people with your grenade launcher, and Recon Pro takes a long time to get. So, as, your, as for my uh, third perk, perk, I just picked up the Stalker Pro, because it delays triggered explosives, and it also lets you walk faster when you're aiming down sights. Now, this is the important part, the Strike Package. Go to Strike Package supports the UAV, ballistic vests, and recon drone. With this setup, you really can't fail, even if you're not that good. And the gameplay that I'm going to be showing you is a prime example of not being very good at the game. I'm not the best person at this game, although I only tried getting gameplay for this once, because I wanted to get a, a either a really good gameplay or a really bad gameplay. And it is a, it's not a really bad gameplay, but it's not that good. But I want to show you that you can still gain almost 10,000 XP per match even if you're not that good. So I'm gonna cut over to the actual gameplay now and I hope this video helps you out. <coughs> Hello guys, what is up? It is the Searchers Pen here today and I'm here with a little bit of gameplay. Now this is actually a voiceover part of the same video that you're watching. But anyway, so this is actually the gameplay I was just talking about and basically I'm playing Kill Confirmed and I just want to show you guys that even when you do pretty bad in a game, that you can still get tons of XP. Now, you might be thinking, well, you're not doing horribly, and at the beginning, I'm really not, but uh, it does, I don't really do too great. It's pro, it actually wasn't horrible, it wasn't one of the worst games I've ever played, but it wasn't, def it definitely wasn't one of the best. So even when you are pretty bad, if you're playing the objective, and it, as you can see, I'm running for all the dog tags. I'm running for dog tags. I'm running for the objective. I'm trying to do what makes my team win. I'm also running these support kill streaks, which pretty much lets my team benefit, and it also lets me benefit. You might be thinking also, well, you know, it's helping my team a little bit, and it also helps me. Well, what about the XP? Well. The UAV gives you 100 XP every single time you call it in. Not to mention it lets everybody know, or everybody on your team know, where the enemy is at. So, that helps you so much. In fact, a couple times in this video, well I don't know if it in this video particularly, but say that there's a cluster of red dots in your minimap. You know that they're all in that area. You can throw a Semtex, you can rush over that area, maybe pick up you off. 
and basically you can get a lot of them you can kill like five or ten of them just because you have that UAV up and you know where they are but they don't know where you are it's the element of surprise now the ballistic vests give 200 XP per vest which is quite a lot of XP but in and of itself but you might be thinking well that's not that much at all citrus panda what are you talking about here well you get 50 XP for every single vest that people take so uh, put it in the in the spawn area and say that your whole team of eight people will take the vest well boom you just got 400 extra XP and plus the 200 boom you just got 600 XP right there plus if they die and they respawn and they want it again well then they can get it again and right now, you see I have a recon drone out. It gives 350 XP just to launch it, and then 100 XP for every single tag. Now, if you tag somebody, and then that person gets killed, you get 40 XP. So you just rack up the XP with this recon drone so fast, and this is actually probably your best XP earner as far as kill streaks go. It basically marks people on the mini-map, and it's like an advanced UAV. It tells them uh, it's a big red arrow. It tells them where they are on the mini map and it also tells them what direction they're facing so it really helps out your teammates when they're in a time of need or also it also like flashes them it's almost like getting hit, well it is like getting hit with a flashbang when you tag somebody so that can also help out your teammates if they need to reload and they're sh getting shot at or whatever so um i'm just gonna speed up the rest of this gameplay all the way until the end and i will see you guys at the end of the video And we're back. So I'm just going to show you how much XP I just gained from that one little match. And here we go. Over here, 9,346 XP. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And see ya.